It is Paris Saint-Germain against Barcelona, who have been there, done it, won it, and will want to do it again, and who represent the history of this marvellous competition. You could hardly ask for more. Di Maria, yes, the birthday boy, fires home the free kick against Barcelona for Paris Saint-Germain. when they win it up the field. This is the sort of position they get into to go 2-0 up with Julian Draxler announcing himself for the Champions League player for his new club. Di Maria hit them as we know with his left foot just like that. He scores again. It's 3-0 here. Ecstasy for Paris Saint-Germain. Bewilderment for Barcelona. Looking for Cavani, can hit it, and does hit it. 4-0! They swept forward again, and they've swept aside Barcelona again. And one of the greatest occasions in Paris Saint-Germain's history, this. Make no mistake about it. It's one of the bleakest nights that Barcelona have endured. They're on the wrong end of a Valentine's Day massacre here in Paris. If any team can have any hope of turning this around, it is the likes of Barcelona. C'est vrai que je pense que c'est un match que j'oublierai jamais. Pareil, c'était merveilleux. C'est l'un de mes, mes plus beaux souvenirs en tant que joueur professionnel. Well, if Paris Saint-Germain don't go through to the quarterfinals tonight, this is a match we'll be talking about for quite some time. No one has ever lost 4-0 away in Europe and come back to go through. If there is one team that stands any chance, surely it's Barcelona. It'll dink in and... Kevin Trapp thought about coming for it, thought better of it, has it gone over the line? Is there an early goal for Barcelona? Here there is, and they've scored! Oh, what a sensational start to the match! Barcelona score with two minutes on the watch! Iniesta lets it run, then tries to chase down a Marquinhos, so oh, he's done well, Iniesta! Oh, and it's the second goal! And it really is game on here! Calamitous defending from Paris Saint Germain! Now on Titi, Iniesta ahead of him. Neymar on the near side. Oh, lovely little flick! Down he goes, and no, the referee's not going to give a penalty there. Oh, he's yes, given a penalty. He has given a penalty kick. It's Messi for Barcelona! 3 0! Stunning start to the second half, and it's unravelling for Paris Saint Germain. They're in big trouble leaning back on the ropes now. Good play by Murniak, he's away from the... Oh, it's off the post there, and Cavani almost with what would have been a vital away goal. Real threat, Cavani! That's the goal that PSG was so desperately hoping for. And suddenly, they're feeling a whole lot better about themselves. Et là, tout le monde pense que c'est fini. Et au final, on montre que voilà, on n'était pas mort et qu'on y a cru jusqu'au bout. Et c'est ça le football, je pense. Jusqu'à la dernière minute, il faut y croire. Et, euh... Here comes the change with uh, Rafinha going off and Sergio Roberto coming on to replace him. Now, what's Neymar got up his sleeve here? Oh, he's got something really special up his sleeve. Great goal. Neymar for Barcelona. Messi. Neymar makes the run, it's forward towards Suarez, down he goes inside the penalty area, it is a penalty kick. Neymar against Trapp, he scored! Two quick goals for Neymar, right at the end of the game, it's 5-1 Barcelona, 5-5 on aggregate. Oh, what a grandstand finish to this game, away off the uh, head of Adrian Rabiot. En la última jugada, pues Ney puso el balón y yo ahí estaba, iba por todas, me lancé a, a por el balón. It's a stretch and it's in and I can't remember the last time I saw something like this. Extraordinary scenes at the new camp. Sergio Roberto, the substitute, is the hero of the hour and it is the greatest Champions League knockout comeback of all time. Fue un momento muy especial para mí que siempre, siempre voy a recordar. 
Pero bueno, estamos para estos momentos. Staggering stuff. The Champions League delivers a classic.